Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Demetra and I am here to talk to you about some of my favorites for the last couple of months. I will dub this video as my February favorites, although I think it will trickle in a little bit into March favorites as well. But these are products that I have been experimenting with over the last few months and I think they have become my ride or dies. They are top shelf. I refer to these all the time and I probably use every single product I'm going to talk about today on a regular basis. So why don't we jump into it because I do have a lot of products to talk to you about today. So why don't we begin with one of my absolute favorite primers. And the reason I bought this is because of Tati and her recommendation um, when she did her hot or not. So this is Guerlain's Lore Primer. Um, it is a gorgeous, hopefully you guys can see this. It is a gorgeous primer. It is gel based and it does have gold flecks in it. And what it's meant to do is plump up your skin so that your foundation will go on nice and smooth and help eliminate a few of the fine lines that I think we're all a little bit self-conscious of, um, especially myself. Now I love the packaging of this product. It is I don't know if you can hear that. It is a glass bottle and it does come in a pump, which I love because it keeps it nice and sanitary. Um, the way I use this product, I will have a clean face. The only thing that will be on it is my moisturizer. I will put one pump of this on the back of my hand, dab a little onto my forehead, cheeks, and chin, and then I will work the product into my skin until it is nice and tacky. And that's when I know it is ready for my foundation. Um, this is a highly, highly recommended product a little bit on the pricey side so for those of you who are looking for a more affordable uh, primer this is definitely not the one uh, this is the one that you save up for a few months and you go purchase um, it is I believe $81 I got this from the Guerlain store uh, on Bloor Street in Toronto um, and I have been using it every single day since I purchased it I can't get enough of it I am wearing it today um, it has left my skin feeling so smooth and my foundation has just gone on so flawlessly I absolutely love it so that was my first product um, my second product is actually from Dior <laughs> that was not good that would have been messy my second product for you is from Dior this is their new Dior skin forever foundation it does have SPF 35 in it and it also claims to have pore filling technology as well. Um, I have been using this since I purchased it back in, I believe it was in December, and I have loved this product so much. It blends seamlessly onto your skin, and it doesn't look like you're wearing any foundation, even though it is medium to full coverage. Um, it is very buildable, but it just leaves your skin looking like skin. It is nice and matte. Uh, it just has a nice, um, a very nice satin sort of finish, but kind of matte in all of the oily areas that you don't want to get super slick um, because I am very oily and I don't want to have something that is going to make me look like an oil slick at the end of the day. Now I am in the shade 020 and I do have to say that the shades with this particular foundation are very very difficult to match to your skin. They do tend to lean uh, more towards a warm side so some of them do have a bit of an orangey um, uh, color to it so whatever you do go in store to Sephora to your local Dior counter and try them out get matched before you purchase online uh, just because it'll be very difficult for you to find your ideal color um, if you are just going to be going out on the limb and purchasing it online um, this foundation does tend to oxidize just a little bit so don't be afraid to go a little bit lighter with your foundation and if it doesn't end up oxidizing on your face then you can always just warm it up with a little bit of bronzer and you are good to go it's definitely a keeper for me. Two thumbs up. <laughs> My uh, next products for you are still along the Dior line and they are the Dior, what are they called? The Dior Skin Nude Air Highlighters. These two are spectacular. I can't talk about them highly enough. Um, first and foremost, I love their packaging. They do come in a somewhat metal uh, container, metal plastic. Um, they do have a magnetic 
closure, which I really, really like. Once you pop this open, you do have a nice little mirror in there, and then you have your product inside. Now, they come in two shades. This one that I'm holding up right now is 001, and it's called Glowing Pink. I love, oh my god, look at that. The Glowing Pink is on the left, and Glowing Nude is on the right. The second one is 002 and it's glowing nude. So it's still very similar to um, glowing pink. Let me put them side by side so you can see them. That might help. So this is the pink and this is the glowing nude on this side here. So this one does tend to be a little more bronzy. So I'd say save this one for uh, when you're going to the beach or on summer vacation. Oh, again, and I'll put this one next to the pink, and you can see it does have more bronzy tones to it. I use my Morphe 510 to apply this. It is the perfect brush. You just, uh, let's see if I can use this using my viewfinder. So I just swirl it around like this, tap off the excess, and then I just go in there and I accentuate my cheekbones, at least just the tops of my cheekbones. It is such a beautiful product and a little bit really does go a long way. You don't need a lot of this product to get a super nice highlight on your face. I will list all of these in the bottom bar below with the prices so you guys can check them out. This product here is my Dior Forever Skin uh, and Ever Control. It's got a slightly strange name to it. <laughs> um, but this is basically their translucent setting powder. It does not have any color. Um, it is loose and this keeps you matty matte, 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 matte all freaking day. It is bomb. I cannot tell you how much I love this product. Um, the packaging itself is pretty nice. It does have a stopper in here um, and there is a netting that keeps all the translucent powder inside of the container. Um, it is going to leave you looking flawless and airbrushed. It even hides some of your pores. So if you do have larger pores like myself, this will take care of everything for you. So highly recommended. Um, definitely something everyone should have in their arsenal. What I'm going to dive into next are a couple of palettes that have actually been my go-to's for the last, I'd say, month and a half. And the one palette I am super, super happy to have purchased, and I will continue purchasing these as long as they come out with the same type of quality, is the Tartlet In Bloom palette. This is their Amazonian clay palette and it is gorgeous. The packaging is nice and sleek. You can see how thin it is. It is perfect for travel. Now once you open it you do have a mirror. Um, the mirror is nice and big and it's clean. I love it. You can use this definitely to do your makeup and all of that good stuff. My, damn my highlight looks good. <laughs> um, I'll stop right there for a second, stop being so vain. Um, but this is the palette here. So you have beautiful neutral colors here and they get a little bit deeper um, on this side over here. Now I do love their shimmers. They are so buttery and they blend beautifully. Um, but more than their shimmers, their matte colors have incredible pigmentation. They blend out like a dream, super finely milled, and they have staying power. I have very oily lids, but with the right primer, these do not budge all day long. And I'll see if I can do a few swatches for you. So I'll do a couple shimmers and then I'll do a couple of mattes. Well, how about I do three? <laughs> so you can see right there and This is highly recommended and for the quality the price point is actually pretty decent so pop into your local Sephora or go on to Tarte's website definitely pick this up I promise you you will not regret it and sticking with Tarte man this company has been producing some amazing products lately um, I am in love with this Rainforest of the Sea palette um, all of the colors so it's very similar packaging to this what I forgot to mention about the Tarte uh, in bloom is that it also smells like cocoa. Let's all pause for a moment and talk about how much we love anything that smells like cocoa. <sighs> okay, I'm good now. <laughs> um, the, no, this one does not smell like it. 
Um, I wish it did though, because it would have been really nice. Or, ooh, what about like a nice ocean smell? I don't know how I would, uh, you know what, I take that back. I don't think that would smell very good at all um, for eyeshadow, but here's the palette. As you can see, it also has a mirror in here. This one is rounded. Um, I don't know how I feel about the round shape. I prefer the square shape like the um, the Tartlet in Bloom, but whatever, we'll roll with it. Um, most of the shadows in here are on the shimmery side, um, but they are like butter again. They go on the lid so smoothly and they blend gorgeously. Um, let me see if I can do a couple of swatches for you, my lovely, lovely audience. So you can see those here and then I will swatch these. Let's see on my arm here. Aren't they beautiful? This is definitely something that you want to get your hands on. Highly, highly recommended. And again, the price point is pretty decent for the quality of the product. All right, now if you're one of those people who loves to do their brows and make sure you have a nice brow on fleek, get it nice and extended, um, nice and dark and beautifully shaped, but you are so intimidated to get it wrong or to not be symmetrical because I'll be the first to raise my hand. I have buggered up my brows on more than one occasion. But this brow extender, I purchased this at Carol Baker. It is a local um, salon here in Canada. Um, they've got a bunch of locations in, um, in Ontario, but this product here will make doing your brows foolproof. And if you do screw up using this product, you can easily fix it up. It comes with, a really nice doe foot applicator. Hopefully you guys can see that there. Um, and there's lots of product. I've had this since July and the product is barely used. I've maybe used a quarter of the, uh, the jar here. Um, it does come in a glass bottle, so it is a little bit fragile. Um, make sure you're very careful with how you store this, but it is gorgeous. Um, I've done my eyebrows with this today and every other day um, and I will continue probably using this for the rest of my life. I am so excited to talk about this product and I don't really know why but it is one of my favorite things to throw in my bag and to use. I have been wearing a lot more uh, liquid lipsticks lately and darker colors um, and sometimes you know things tend to smudge or at the end of the night it's a little bit more difficult to get off some of those colors but this product here is going to change your life and make everything so much easier when it comes to makeup removal. It's called the Dinoplatz Magic Wand and it is by Too Cool for School. Um, I will tell you right now, I am a big fan of Korean beauty and Korean skincare. It is to die for. I will talk about some face masks that I absolutely love in another video, and hopefully you guys will, um, will find that a little informative, but for makeup remover. So it comes in this little, uh, little shape here. It's kind of like a Q-tip. Um, it's got two cotton balls on either side, and what you're gonna do is keep your q-tip like this upright and you're gonna pull off this top part so it's got a slightly thicker um, barrel around here you can pull that off from the thinner barrel and all of the liquid that is stored inside of this q-tip here will drip down to the bottom and then you will use that to take off any lipstick that you have on and any sort of um, eyeliner that you wanna get rid of as well. And then the dry cotton ball will help you clean up any of the excess product that might still be on your eyes or your lips. This is amazing. I have this in my purse all the time. I am on, I think, my fourth package now. <laughs> um, absolutely wonderful. Make sure you run out and you pick this up. It is less than $10 super cheap um, and you've got 20 pieces in this little container here it is plastic it's great to reuse for any other um, sort of products that you want to throw into your purse um, definitely run out and pick it up you can get it at your local Sephora or if you happen to be in Korea there's a great too, too cool for school stand almost everywhere or store you can run in there pick this up um, show them a picture they'll know exactly what you're talking about um, but you will love this once you try it the Dino Platz magic wand 
wow that was such a whirlwind I'm so excited <laughs> so I just talked to you about all of my favorite beauty products for the month of February and previous <laughs> uh, like I said I've been using these uh, products here for a while um, I hope this video was fun for you and I can't wait to continue doing more and talking to you more about the products that I absolutely love and adore but I'm also going to be talking about products that epically fail because I gotta be honest with you guys I've played with a lot of makeup and not everything works um, and not everything is cheap either so when you spend a lot of cash on something and it doesn't work it does tend to get a little bit frustrating but with me to help you here uh, hopefully you won't go wrong and you will make some great decisions and play with some pretty cool products as well um, please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below on what you would like to see or any products that you would like me to try out um, and until the next video, thanks for watching and welcome to my house. Bye. <laughs> wow, that was a delayed reaction. Oh, all right. See you later, guys.